Number 10. The original Ghost Rider in Marvel Comics was a character named Carter Slade, who appeared in Ghost Rider No. 1 in 1967. He was a cowboy in the Old West and rode a horse rather than a motorcycle. This version of Ghost Rider was later renamed the Phantom Rider to avoid confusion with the more famous Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, who debuted in 1972. Johnny Blaze, the motorcycle-riding Ghost Rider, became the more iconic and well-known version of the character. He is the one often associated with the fiery skull and supernatural powers bestowed upon him by a demonic entity. Number 9. Ghost Rider, in the form of Johnny Blaze, made his first appearance in Marvel Spotlight No. 5, which was published in August 1972. The character was created by writer Roy Thomas, artist Mike Plug, and writer Gary Friedrich. Johnny Blaze, a stunt motorcyclist, becomes the Ghost Rider after making a pact with the demon Zarathos. The character gained significant popularity and eventually became one of Marvel Comics' iconic supernatural figures. Number 8. Johnny Blaze was a stunt motorcyclist in a traveling carnival. He grew up in the care of Crash Simpson, a stunt show owner, after his parents' death. In an attempt to save his surrogate father Crash Simpson from terminal cancer, Johnny Blaze made a deal with the demon Mephisto. However, Mephisto deceived Blaze, and Simpson died in a stunt accident that Mephisto had orchestrated. Furious and heartbroken, Johnny Blaze was bonded with the demon Zarathos, becoming the supernatural entity known as Ghost Rider. When Blaze was in the presence of evil, or when innocent blood was spilled, he would transform into Ghost Rider, a flaming skull-headed figure riding a fiery motorcycle. Number 7. The motorcycle is often depicted with flaming wheels and a design that complements the fiery and demonic aesthetic of Ghost Rider. In various Ghost Rider storylines and comic book series, the appearance of the motorcycle may vary, but it generally retains a supernatural and otherworldly vibe to match the character's demonic nature. The motorcycle is not just a mode of transport, but is also infused with mystical properties, reflecting the supernatural powers of Ghost Rider. It is also nearly indestructible as it can be reformed by Ghost Rider at will. Number 6. In recent developments, Johnny Blaze's connection to the supernatural realm has deepened, unveiling a profound symbiotic relationship between him and the spirit that embodies the Ghost Rider. Previously, the transformation into the Ghost Rider was a partially involuntary process, triggered by nightfall or the presence of malevolence. Now, Johnny has gained mastery over this transformation, allowing him to shift between his human form and the Ghost Rider at will. However, this newfound control is not absolute, and external factors, such as the spilling of innocent blood, can still act as catalysts for the transformation. Surprisingly, revelations have surfaced indicating that both Johnny Blaze and the spirit within the Ghost Rider are celestial agents serving the cause of heaven. This cosmic connection adds a layer of divine purpose to the Ghost Rider's actions, suggesting a mission beyond mere vigilantism. The extent and details of this celestial mission remain shrouded in mystery, leaving Johnny and the spirit to navigate their intertwined destinies. The power dynamics within the Ghost Rider entity have become more nuanced. While transformed, Johnny primarily maintains control, dictating the Ghost Rider's actions and decisions. However, a precarious balance exists, and should Johnny falter or lose control of the Ghost Rider's power, the spirit may seize the reins, taking charge of the supernatural entity. This dual existence forces Johnny to constantly wrestle for dominance, as the spirit patiently awaits an opportunity to assert its celestial influence. Number 5 Ghost Rider's Pin and Stare is a formidable supernatural ability exclusive to the spirits of Vengeance and Ghost Rider, adds a potent layer to their arsenal in the pursuit of justice. This ability, executed through intense eye contact during close combat, manifests as a profound and harrowing experience for the victim. As the Ghost Rider locks eyes with their opponent, a conduit is formed through which the Pin and Stare delves into the very essence of the individual. The effects are akin to the searing torment of Hellfire but more profound in nature. The victim is subjected to a relentless onslaught of self-mortification, experiencing every negative action, behavior, and sin they have committed throughout their lifetime. The pain inflicted is not physical, but rather a visceral and soul-wrenching ordeal that forces the individual to confront the consequences of their actions. 
Number 4. Ghost Rider outran Thor's enchanted hammer Mjolnir and then used it against the God of Thunder occurred in Avengers number 241. In this storyline, Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, faced off against the X-Men member The Angel. When the Avengers intervened to stop Ghost Rider, they found themselves outmatched by the powerful spirit of vengeance. Recognizing the danger, Thor attempted to use his iconic weapon, Mjolnir, to subdue Ghost Rider. However, much to the surprise of the Avengers, Ghost Rider demonstrated an incredible feat of speed and agility by outrunning Mjolnir. To add a stunning twist, Ghost Rider not only outran the mystical hammer but also managed to grab it and turn the tables on Thor. He rode back towards the God of Thunder, using the momentum gain to deliver a powerful and unexpected blow. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top 3, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number 3. Ghost Rider became the king of hell in the Doctor Strange Damnation comic book arc. In this storyline, Mephisto, the demon lord of hell, orchestrated a plan to bring hell to earth. Doctor Strange, in response, gathered a group of supernatural and magic-based heroes, including Ghost Rider, to thwart Mephisto's nefarious scheme. However, Mephisto proved to be a cunning adversary, outsmarting even the Sorcerer Supreme. As part of his plan, Mephisto tricked the spirit of vengeance into leaving Johnny Blaze's body. Unbeknownst to Mephisto, this was actually part of Johnny Blaze's own elaborate plan. Johnny orchestrated events to lead Mephisto into killing him, thereby sending his soul to hell, where the spirit of vengeance now resided after leaving Blaze's body. In the depths of hell, Johnny Blaze, free from Mephisto's influence, forged a new contract with the demonic entity Zarathos. This transformative pact allowed Johnny to reclaim the mantle of the Ghost Rider and, in a stunning turn of events, he usurped Mephisto's position as the Demon Lord of Hell. Number 2. The confrontation between Ghost Rider and the Green Scar version of Hulk during the World War Hulk storyline. The Hulk, having absorbed an immense amount of gamma energy, became an incredibly powerful force, wreaking havoc upon his return to Earth. Recognizing the need to stop the Hulk's rampage, the decision was made to deploy Ghost Rider to confront the Green Scar. Ghost Rider, with his supernatural abilities and the spirit of vengeance within him, proved to be a formidable opponent for the Hulk. Despite the Hulk's overwhelming strength and relentless attacks, Ghost Rider displayed resilience and an ability to withstand the Green Scar's powerful punches. The Hulk, surprised by Ghost Rider's ability to endure his onslaught, was forced to acknowledge the relentless nature of his opponent. In the end, the Hulk, recognizing that traditional physical force might not be enough to subdue the Ghost Rider, resorted to using an obedience disc. This technological device was a measure to control and subdue powerful beings, and it proved to be an effective means of temporarily incapacitating Ghost Rider. Number 1 Ghost Rider, specifically Johnny Blaze, has been a part of various Marvel teams throughout his comic book history. Here are some of the notable teams that Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze has been associated with. Champions Ghost Rider joined the Champions, a superhero team that was active in the 1970s. The original lineup included Hercules, Angel, Iceman, Black Widow, and Ghost Rider. Defenders Ghost Rider was a member of the Defenders, a non-traditional superhero team that dealt with mystical and supernatural threats. Other members included Doctor Strange, Hulk, and Silver Surfer. Midnight Suns Ghost Rider was part of the Midnight Suns, a group of supernatural and occult-based Marvel characters. This team dealt with mystical and supernatural threats, including the likes of Blade, Morbius, and Doctor Strange. Thunderbolts Johnny Blaze also joined the Thunderbolts, a team of reformed villains attempting to become heroes. He took on the name The Caretaker during his time with the Thunderbolts. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.